Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about vibration. Are you ready? Let's begin! Vibration is a term we use to describe a repetitive back and forth or up and down motion of an object. Think of it as a sort of wiggle or shake that happens regularly. This movement can occur in various things, and it's a fundamental concept in science and physics. Here are some key points. Oscillation Vibration involves oscillation, which is another word for a repetitive motion. When something moves back and forth or up and down in a regular pattern, we call it oscillating. For instance, when you pluck a guitar string, it vibrates and produces sound. Or, when you tap on a drum head, the drum head vibrates, creating the sound you hear. Energy transfer When things vibrate, you're actually transferring energy. For example, when you ring a bell, you're transferring energy to the bell, and it vibrates, producing a sound. Let's go over the types of vibrations. Vibrations can occur in different ways. Mechanical vibrations happen in objects like swings, pendulums, or vibrating strings. Acoustic vibrations are what make sound like when you talk, play music, or clap your hands. Now let's go over frequency. Frequency is how fast or slow the vibration happens. Higher frequency means faster vibrations, while lower frequency means slower ones. Engineers use their understanding of vibrations to design stable buildings, ensure machinery runs smoothly, and even create cool technologies like speakers and musical instruments. Now here are fun facts about vibrations. Chladni Patterns Ernest Chladni, an 18th century physicist, demonstrated that vibrations create patterns. He sprinkled sand on metal plates and then played them with a violin bow. The sand arranged itself into intricate patterns corresponding to the vibrations, now known as Chladni's patterns. Earth Vibrations Earth has its own set of vibrations. When the ground shakes due to an earthquake, it results of vibrations traveling through the Earth. Seismologists study these vibrations to understand the Earth's interior. Vibrations in space. Even in space, there are vibrations. Stars and planets emit vibrations in the form of sound waves. Vibrations in animals. Certain animals use vibrations for communication. Bees, for example, communicate through vibrating their bodies in a specific way to signal other bees about the location of food. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about vibration today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!